Hey, give with the camera back at you with another review. This time with the iPhone 7. So let's get right into that. Um, I picked mine up on Friday of last week. Did an unboxing. I figured after a few days I would give a little rough review of the iPhone. The iPhone 7 has a number of new features. Like better um, camera, better zoom effects. Even on the iPhone 7, you've got better effects on the camera. You can zoom up to five to um, five x. It's pretty cool there. Um, on the iPhone Seven Plus, of course, you get to go to like ten x on your zoom, and it's got the um, extra camera. I unfortunately was only able to pick up the iPhone Seven, so I have the um, you know the improved camera with the better zoom, uh, five times zoom and everything. But the cool part about the camera that I found so far is when you can record in four K, and it actually looks really good. Um, it's better than the camera that I'm recording on right now. I just currently don't have a tripod for my iPhone to sit on to record. So I'm using my Logitech webcam. But all in all, it, the camera seems like a really good, really good thing. It seems like it's working really well. Another really good point or feature of the iPhone is the extra battery life. Their keynote talked about about an hour or so of extra battery to, battery life depending which phone you're coming from and I'm noticing maybe about 45 30 to 45 minutes or so of extra battery life throughout the day although you know that's talking about you know just phone calls and standbys what they were talking about but I ran Pokemon Go for about about 10 minutes when my phone was at 100% after about 10 minutes of it running non-stop, I was still at 100% on my battery life. Running Pokemon Go for the same amount of time on my iPhone 6S or my 6 would have been, would have taken at least, you know, 5 or so percent off of my um, overall battery power. Also, it's a little more responsive. They have the four processors that are running in it now. Um, it's pretty pretty quick, pretty responsive. I like that. It's a pretty good idea to get as much power into that phone as you can. I haven't noticed if that's actually helping with any of my video watching or any of my apps I've been playing, but I do no notice some of them um, open a little faster. I haven't um, downloaded any new apps, any of the new ones that came out for I iOS 10. And everything but there again that leads us to another feature of the new iPhone 7 and as well as anybody that's got you know iPhone 6 or 6s is iOS 10 um, I the new iOS is rather amazing it's got some cool stuff to it uh, you know it's not to get into the technical aspects of all of it but there's a lot of cool stuff involved in iOS 10 they added these new physical things you can add to your um, your text messages and stuff uh, by the touch of finger you using finger touch and everything you can send hearts or little fireballs or different little things and it's even got a um, like a whiteboard kind of thing where you can just um, draw or type you know draw or whatever you want on it and send it to somebody that you're trying to send a text to in the clock section of, of the iOS, they have this bedtime setting function now where you can, it'll ask you a series of questions, what time you want to go to bed, what, you know, how many hours you like to sleep, or yada, yada, yada. And then it'll tell you about what time you should go to bed, and, and the alarm will go off at the time that you wake up. You can even get an alarm to tell you 15, 40, 15 to 45 minutes to an hour before you should be going to bed. Um, to be told that, hey, bedtime's coming up. I thought that was a pretty nifty little addition. It's really helpful when you want eight hours or ten hours of sleep and you're not very good at counting, um, I suppose, or you're half out of it when you um, try to set your alarm. But that takes me to another feature. The new fe Another feature is the... Um, dual speakers. It's got stereo sound, speaker on the top, speaker on the bottom. 
And if you're not expecting it, it'll be very loud if you're running your old iPhone's um, sound settings. I was running mine on my 6S, you know, I updated from the cloud. And the volume setting was already where I had it set on the, I, on the iPhone 6S. And that was only halfway, and it almost blew my ears out, it seemed like, because I turned on Pokemon Go, the little music played, and it just blared out really loud. I almost dropped my phone. But the sound quality is really good when you get outside of uh, that, you know, you don't get it too loud. It sounds really good. Um, some, a lot of people were upset about the, the fact that you don't get a headphone jack. Um, you know, but they've moved on. They're trying to move to more of a digital setup. And I can't blame them for trying to do something different. Uh, a lot of people are complaining, though, because they like to listen to their headphones while they're charging their phone. Well, sadly, you know, Apple didn't provide anything for you to do that, to be able to charge and listen at the same time. But I read that Belkin, for like $39.99, offers a connector that will allow you to listen to your headphones and charge your phone at the same time. Um, and I've also seen some other companies have, are trying to do the same thing. Uh, Belkin was just the biggest name that I knew I knew of and that I've seen. But if you still want to use your analog jacks, though, they've given this little thing here. If I, if you can see it there, it's a uh, lightning connector to a um, uh, analog three and a half millimeter headphone jack, and I think that'll help out a lot of people because that's coming in every every box. Um, now, some people are going to be like, well, it's so easy to lose, it's so small, and yeah, it is small, but Apple claims they needed the space in the phone to be able to, one, make it a little smaller, do the cam do the extra um, stuff for the camera, and they needed their extra room for the extra processor power. I don't know if that's true or just a bunch of hogwash trying to tell people, you know, BS stuff to get them to be okay with it or whatever but it is what it is they got rid of the three and a half millimeter jack and I guess for some people it's gonna be fine some people it won't be me I don't usually use my cell phone as my um, music device I usually have my iPod for that um, but of course they don't support my iPod anymore so that's not very good in case it breaks but that said there is one feature that I thought was really cool. It's their water resistance that they've added. The uh, phone itself, I have seen people submerge the phone in water. Um, I'm not a big enough YouTuber to be able to afford an extra phone in case something fails on that. So um, you're not going to see me doing that right at the current moment. If all of a sudden I get a lot of views and I make it, I make it a little bit of money, maybe we'll um, test and see how long the... Um, iPhone 7 can last underwater. Um, but until that time, that's not going to happen on my on my channel right now. But I like it because as a guy that gets in a, is in a wheelchair and stuff, sometimes you're stuck out in the rain and you have to make a run for it. And you don't really have enough time sometimes to cover your phone. And so the rain, you know, could, on previous iPhones or other cell phones that aren't don't have the water resistance, you know, like the iPhone does. I think the Samsung 7 Edge has or whatever. Um, but that'll be very helpful because as I've run back and forth in the rain or something, where I get I, I get stuck out in my chair. I don't want to have to worry about my phone being broke too. It's already enough of a of a gamble when you're dealing with a power chair out in the rain anyway. But it also will help people that are a little clumsy, you know, they, uh, the drop, that might drop it, you know, into a sink or something, a sink of dishes or, you know, whatever it is that could end up getting it wet. Um, my suggestion is to not test it unless you really need to. But it's there for a reason, I suppose. And um, I think that's a really good thing. We need more advanced phones like that. I just wish the phone was, you know, also a little stronger. Um, you know, sturdier because I had to put a case on it right away, of course, because I feel like if I dropped it, it would, it would shatter in a lot of pieces. It wasn't very big. 
Um, but all in all, you know, it wasn't very, didn't seem very sturdy, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But all in all, the iPhone 7 looks like a good phone. It has some good features. It'll be having, um, you know, the iOS 10 will be having um, Super Mario Run um, in the next few months. I think that's pretty cool. I think that'll be a great game to play. I'm sure looking forward to buying that one uh, when it comes out, depending on the price. But all in all, the iPhone 7S, well, iPhone 7, I'm getting ahead of myself here. I already ready for the 7S, am I? But the iPhone 7, looking like a good phone. I wish I could have had a chance to um, try out the iPhone 7 Plus um, because I really wanted to try out that dual camera. But by the time I was able to pre-order, the pre-orders on that would have had me not picking it up until like December or January. And I wanted to be able to get a video out to you and do a review on it um, a lot sooner than that while people were still thinking about it. But that said, looks like a good phone. If you don't have a phone or you're in the market for a new phone or your upgrade comes up soon or whatever, I'd suggest the iPhone 7. It seems to work really well. Haven't had any problems with it. Um, Siri seems to work okay as compared to before because I was having some problems on my success with it with Siri not working right, my alarm clock not working right here and there, and the screen problems I was having with the iPhone 6S were a little annoying. But, all in all, good phone. If you need a phone, right out in the market for one, I suggest you go pick one up. All right, y'all have a great day, and um, hit the like button if you enjoyed the content, and I will see you down the road. Y'all have a great day.